Hi, my name is Alex with Atec Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I have a very special video for you. I have gotten so many requests to make this video that I'm excited that I can finally make it. This is still in beta, so please keep in mind that your mileage is going to vary, but please rest assured that this feature is coming out in early 2023 to everybody, but again, it's still in beta, and I'm just going to show you, if you want to be a first adopter, an early adopter, I'm going to show you how to enable this super special feature that has just been requested by so many of you. Before we jump into the video though, please make sure you're subscribed. I am trying to hit a goal of 3,000 subscribers. I am so close. And so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed just yet, please make sure you subscribe. It's free, it's easy to do, and it really, really does help out the channel. Also, please make sure you drop a like if you get bad at this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you just want to let me know how awesome this feature is, let me know down below in the comments section below. All right, let's jump into Jira and let me show you this super cool feature. All right, so jumping into your Jira, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna just basically log in. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're not gonna go into a project. We're not gonna go into a board or anything like that. We're just, we just need to be inside of Jira. Once you're there, you're gonna click on your little profile that is over here on the top right corner. This should be your account. So once you click on that, you'll be able to see personal settings. This is where you wanna click. This is where you wanna be because the magic, the, the feature that I'm gonna show you here lies inside of this little area. So once you come to your personal settings, you've probably been here a thousand times. This is where you set your time zone, your language, a bunch of other things. But if you keep scrolling down, and I actually don't visit this page very often, so I was very surprised when I found out about it. And so thank you, special thank you to Nicole. You know who you are. You showed it to me yesterday. And so I wanted to show you because I just I've been waiting for this feature and so many of you, so many of you on the internet are just always asking for it. So check this out. So down below here, if you keep scrolling, there's a little line divider. You're going to get to Jira Labs. Now Jira Labs is like a experimental beta type of thing where Atlassian's trying out new things and they give you the opportunity to try them out with them and maybe provide some feedback and stuff like that. So under this Jira Labs, we have a, an experiment and look at this light and dark themes. We finally have dark mode. So you slide that slider over and pick your theme. I'm going to go dark because let's face it, we've all been waiting for dark mode in Jira because I don't know about you, but I wake up at four or five in the morning and I'm using Jira in a very dark room and that screen is just bright, bright like a Christmas tree. And I am so excited that I can finally enable dark mode and not go blind here. So I'm sure you're going to appreciate this. And if you do, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to just hear about you, get a thumbs up and just tell me if you like this feature, tell me if you prefer the light mode, but I'm a big fan of dark mode. I try to do dark mode on everything. And if you're like me, then you're going to like this feature here. You're going to like that this is now available. And again, it is in still in the Jira lab. So it's still in a beta, but it is on Atlassian's roadmap. And if you Google Jira dark mode, you'll see their exact uh, like plan for releasing it, but it is going to be early 2023. So I'm excited that this feature is going to come out to everybody, but everybody today should be able to come in here under Jira Labs and be able to enable that. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. I'm very, very curious to see because I've gotten so many questions. I'm just curious to see if people are actually going to enable dark mode. I just enabled it. I'm going to see how I like it. Sometimes dark mode doesn't always work. Sometimes the applications don't always work uh, that well, but I'm really, really hoping that Atlassian did uh, do this well, and I'm going to be trying it out, and I'm going to see if it does impact my usability with Jira. But anyways, if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed again, it does help out the channel tremendously. So please help me out here and hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you get any value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be excited to engage with you there. I do answer every single comment. So if you ask a question or just interact, I will respond to you. So thank you again to everybody for your continued support. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.